Hello and welcome to Let's Play Gothic 2. Not only Gothic 2, it's in Night Raven session. And actually, you're gonna play this game. I never play the Night Raven. And I think. I hope it's an interesting game. Very interesting. And I hear it's very very hard game. But we will see how this is true. So let's begin. A single prisoner altered the fate of hundreds, but he paid a high price for it. defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier. But while all the other prisoners escaped, he remained behind in the rubble. It was I who dispatched him against the sleeper. Now it is I who brings him back from there. He is weak and has forgotten much. But he is alive. He's back. There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. After the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper, Belyar's wrath has grown even greater. A mighty artifact, so it is written in the old scriptures, will be brought back to this world when the god of darkness sends his henchmen out to search. This search has long since begun. Belyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island can sense this wrath. And some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him. So much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. 
With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, come, and they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. We do not have much time left. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the Paladins give me the Eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the Sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the Paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the Paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the circle of fire has taken me for dead. And that's a good thing. Well, chapter one. Stone table. What kind of this? I can't read that. I see that. Some potion. Look like how he looks like. Much better. What is this key? One box. That give me some experience. Experience, but they give me. Mm. 
about the, my stats. Well, I'm level zero. Circle zero. Experience from the box. 150. Strength and health points. For Creed Roy. That's, uh, that's interesting. I don't... I actually don't know who I can play in here or mage or some of the yeah, archer Actually, in here it's gold. In the first gothic, it will be or nuggets. It's interesting stuff. Actually, very interesting. Some flowers. It's look like discovered dexterity bonus. Okay. Well, I gotta Better graphic, I think. Some mushroom. Dagger. What? Sheep. Come get this.
take a bow. Much better warrior. Well, that's balance. Yet, oh, that's a lot of it. Goblin. Ah. I kill M1, B1. Many of them. That's a hit. Well. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Why? It's. Well, now it's not quite difficult. What is this? Bet it interesting. Give me strength. Actually, yes. Give me strength. It's very bad. Oops. It's very good at night. <laughs> some kind of sound Again bleeding. A lot of bleeding. I I don't wanna spend my why me apple some fish I found goblin I gonna guard the rest It's a lot of bleed
I'm gonna end this episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And see you in the next video.